Hi, and welcome to Chase the Veil. Um, today we will be talking about, you just got engaged last night, now what? What do you do? But first, let's start with the uh, introductions. Uh, my name is Jeff from Excite Music, and I'm also a publisher for Web Plan 101. Chef Joanne Rossi with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. <laughs> Jennifer Rossi with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. Mike Wise from Mike Wise Photography. And I'm Krista Tharp with Tharp Events and Blissfully Simple Wedding Planning. Okay guys, so a bride is uh, popped, the question is popped the night before and she wakes up all bright and sunny and ready to get going. What's the first thing that she does? Changes her Facebook status. There you go. <laughs> That's the times. <laughs> that is very true. What should she be doing? Getting her ring appraised. <laughs> 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 she's going to be telling her friends and family yes. one way or the other whether it's Facebook or phone calls emails she's going to be letting everybody right know, know. Yes. that you know she's engaged and that they're planning a wedding but seriously she needs to be finding a date exactly but there's more to it than that so right. I'm going to let you take it because it's a lot more than just picking a date on the calendar. Exactly. If you are a bride, you just got engaged, what is the first thing that you need to do? Well, um, I follow a method called the Bliss Method. It's done in four phases. The first phase is very, is pure bliss, very girly. But um, that is when usually you're out trying on dresses and buying all the, the magazines and you're online. But what you really need to do, the very first thing, is to do your guest list. That is the actual foundation of your wedding so that you can't later on thinking, that you had 250 people and you book a hall that only holds 250 people but when you get his list his parents list your parents list everybody's list you've got almost 400 people um, you only have two choices which is to lose your deposit and go to another place or to cut your list which is sometimes more painful and more difficult to do so you need to work on your guest list and then you need to set your date then you need to work on your budget then you move on to the second phase which is overwhelming bliss which feels that way but that's when you book all of your vendors and anyone that could take you um, that's time sensitive. So if you really want Jeff from Excite Music, you need to get it before anyone else can because he can only do one that day. So you need to focus on those. Those are the two things that you need to start with. Anybody else have something to? Well, one important thing on booking the vendors, you don't have to know all the details of what you want. Mm -hmm. If you know the photographer that you want to book, if you know the caterer that you want to use, but you don't know what meal you want to have. All of that's fine, but secure that vendor on that date, or, the, or you're right, they'll be gone. Mm -hmm. um, we'll worry about the details as we get closer, but get the get the vendor that you want for the service you want, get the date booked. Right, and the details are, those come later. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, really, you need, to, you need to consider your wedding like a house. Start building that foundation, piece upon piece upon piece upon piece. Otherwise, the bottom's just gonna fall out underneath it. Most brides really wanna start with the fun stuff. Let's go do the decorations. Well, that's the paint and, and the pictures and stuff in the house. If you don't have you know, the frame, you're in big trouble. And I, and I see that a lot. I see a lot of brides get overwhelmed on the details yes. because they haven't got the foundation. They haven't got the important stuff taken care of and they are getting buried in details. Well, they can't. They can't work through these details because they have tried to do things out of order. Mm -hmm. How far ahead would you say that for an average would be to get started on booking? Well, that is, that's one of the things is that old timelines, weddings have changed so drastically over the past 30 years, even over the past five years. Um, and the old timelines just absolutely do not work anymore. That's one of the things about the Bliss Method is you could do it in five weeks or you could do it in five years. So the first thing is you get your guest list, you set your date, then you start booking your your vendors. Now, let's say if you are two years out, there are some vendors that you won't need to talk to. For example, florists, because they can do several weddings in one day. Photographer, you need to book them. Excite, you need to book them. You need to book the caterer. You need to book a wedding planner. Those types of people you need to book immediately. But others, when you get closer, they'll want to talk to you. Yeah, that seems to me more like it's it's usually about a year to sometimes mm -hmm. a year and a half That's out. That's the and average, I, yeah. I always kind of chuckle a little bit when somebody calls at a year and a half out and they're like, well, can, can we go ahead and book a date? And I'm like, if you've got your church and you've got your reception facility, let's go ahead and get it, it set right. up. You know, there's no reason to wait until a larger portion of brides are going to be booking at a one year mark mm -hmm. and so now at this point we can go ahead and get that set up that's one more thing that you can off cross your off list. your list and be ready to go with the other smaller details as you get closer to that and on top of that too some vendors not all some will actually make you go up but um, if they raise their prices a year out 
you're contracted at that old price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing to think about. And I would ask about that because it depends on your vendor. Exactly. Like a vendor like a caterer, they may not, you know, lock in a price with you because food prices fluctuate. Right. So they're not, they can't lock in, you know, a year to, to 18 months out. But it is good when you want a particular vendor, especially that you book as far out as you, as you can because you would be surprised you know how many people have already looked or already booked, and it's it's those people who who know what they want. They're gonna they're gonna jump in there and get it as soon as they can. Right, right. And at the same time, I mean, one of the first things a bride's going to do is start going to bridal shows. And if they wait too long, maybe the bridal show's three months away. Mm -hmm. If they wait till that point in time, some of the best vendors and they're getting married, you know, six months after that bridal show, the best vendors are gone. Mm -hmm. there, there's no way. Now, if they're going to, say, a January, February bridal show, but they're not getting married until the following summer, a year and a half later, they're probably okay. But, you know, they can't wait until something like a bridal show or some big event because then they're going to get lost in the shuffle and everybody's going to be after those dates, especially right. the popular dates right. um, for the area. So if you know your date and you know your location, and you know who you want, don't wait. Well, there, the there's, no wait there's no reason to, to wait. Otherwise, you may miss out. Especially with those, you know, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> yeah, some I mean, of those. And yeah. 9, you know, 10, 11. I mean, those kinds of things are, and brides figure that, you know, I'll, I won't be thinking about it. I'll get five calls for this one. I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. I get it. First you know? Saturday in June. Yeah, you know I mean? it's you just. Know, though there's specific holiday times. Holiday weekends. Yeah, there's specific times that, Sometimes two years is almost right. not enough. Um, yeah. Now, after you do your vendors, what do you do? That's when you get into the fun stuff. That's when you start doing your decorations, when you start looking at tuxes, when you think about a theme, when you can start doing your invitations, things like that. Um, that's the fun part. Unfortunately, most brides want to start there. <laughs> and you've got to lay that foundation first. You're looking at me like... Enthralled. Enthralled. Oh. <laughs> like, write this down. <laughs> <laughs> then after that fun part comes to what I call the countdown to bliss because there ain't nobody in bliss anymore. That's where the all the details come into. Who's taking the things from the church to the reception? Where's the gift? Uh, where are the gifts going? Who's taking care of parking? Who's taking the bride and groom to and from? I mean, all those little bitty gifts or uh, details. That's exactly where that comes into to play. So don't freak about those too soon. But if they've already taken care of the big stuff, that, now the all these little details, there may be a hundred of them, but yep. they all seem so mm -hmm. easy because they're just little, tiny And they details. fall into place, you know? It's, it's the turning things out of order, trying to wait to the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, the more last minute you are, the less picky you mm -hmm. can be. Um, and, and sometimes the more it costs. <laughs> yes, where you know, sometimes they think just the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they think, oh, I, you know, I'm getting married next week, so why don't you cut me a break? Well, no, I, you know, I have plans. You know, you're interrupting my plans. I'll do it, but I'm not going to cut you a break. It's right. still the same job as if you'd have booked it, you know, six months ago. In fact, now it's harder because we have less time to plan and prepare. Right. Um, I always notice that when I have brides who book out a year and a half, in advance it's it's definitely a different feel because I have the time to get to know them you know even just the email interaction it's the you know the phone conversations and just that interaction makes the difference in the day for me because I feel like they're that much more comfortable with me where if it's somebody that three months before their wedding we haven't had that time to build that relationship up so it, it is a difference mm -hmm. uh, definitely mm -hmm. can be a difference anybody else have anything else to add Okay, well, thank you for joining us for this segment of Chase the Veil. And please make sure that you add any of your comments below. We would love to see that. And if you have any questions, we would love that as well. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.